today with Peter and Elizabeth, the founders of Plum. And we hear that Plum is in the process of launching a new program, Plum Outreach. Can you guys tell me a little bit about the program? Absolutely. Um, so Plum Outreach is something that we've come up with that, in our opinion, really revolutionizes the direct marketing world in general. Um, we're extremely excited about it and um, we're really happy to be here today to really explain what it is that this program does and why it really sets us apart from everybody else in the industry. Um, and this is something that's really, it's, it's been a long process for us and we've spent a lot of time trying to get this right and perfecting it and we couldn't be more excited to really debut this today. So. Um, in a nutshell, what Plum Outreach is, is it is something that encompasses every aspect of marketing for a small business today. And this is something where you know, maybe in the last two years, three years, four years, a lot of our clients in particular would go to three, four, five different shops to try and get all of these products. And they're you know very spread out. And we've come up with a way to bring all of this into one complete, automized program. And that is what makes this so special. I mean, we're talking about every level of marketing. Actual physical direct mail, good old fashioned direct mail, uh, email blasts, SEO, social media, Facebook, Twitter, text messages. I mean, this is everything, and it's not just a, you know, occasional one, one off of any of these things, this is a fully automated system that's encompassing everything all into one platform. In our mind, it's truly revolutionizing the way a small firm can actually market themselves. We created this because so many of our clients were really wasting their marketing dollars. Um, this is a problem that I think every small business deals with, whether it's a stockbroker, um, a financial planner, some, an insurance salesman, it doesn't really matter, I mean, all the way to a dentist or a doctor. And, but as you know, what we deal with is, is the financial field most of the time. And this is something where you know, they're spending thousands of dollars on a, a monthly basis. And this is a lot of money when you're a small business. And granted, you know, the ROI can be huge, but at the same time, how much money are you losing on a day-to-day -day basis? How much money are you literally just throwing out the window because you're not spending the proper amount of time focusing on the people that you've already touched? And I mean, that's something we just saw over and over and over again. And we, and yeah, and we, we specialize in direct mail. That's what we've, you know, where we came from. But we're, we've gotten into digital marketing. We've gotten into internet leads, things like that. And what we find is, in my relationship with my agents and in, in talking to them, they always bounce ideas off of, off of us. So we know what they're seeing if they're doing internet leads. What they're seeing if, you know, agents that don't do as much marketing with us, that they have a firm that most of their business comes from their present clients they already have. They still are not following up with those clients. They're not, they don't know how to do it. It's, it's a problem in this industry and in a lot of other small businesses, for sure. Absolutely. I mean, how many times have we seen it where a client of ours has dealt with thousands of leads? I mean, thousands. I mean, and these aren't, obviously we've seen the smaller clients as well that, you know, they might get 10 leads a month or maybe 20 leads a month. But there's plenty of guys that we've seen, they, they might get 2,000 leads a month. And, you know, they'll touch the easy pickings from that. And, you know, that's how they make their, their money back and how they actually, you know, grow as a business. But because they were told the old school train of thought that it's a numbers game, that you have to keep on spending tons of money on marketing and it's eventually going to work out. Yep. And of course, you know, we're a mail house. We love that. We love getting people to do mail. But there's a better way to do it. There's a way you can refine the system and make it into a machine that's working behind the scenes that you don't have to worry about. You don't have to check in. You don't have to make sure your employees coming to work to send out those thank you cards. You don't have to make sure that the person that you're the freelancer that's doing your website or writing the copy for you is actually writing the copy, that they're not stealing your money. We're doing it all for you. We're getting it approved for you. We're taking all of those steps and taking the headache away from you 
from a small business standpoint, that is extremely important. And really the only way a lot of these small businesses can do it with this economy. Depending on how your clients are finding you, if you're advertising through search engine optimization, if they're finding you by listening to your radio show, if they're finding you from Googling you, um, from your seminar that you gave, they're all going to be entered into this Plum Outreach system and then we are marketing to them. In every way possible. Plum Outreach does every single step for our clients and that's what's really setting it apart in this world of marketing today. Um, and you know, when you talk to any small business owner, um, the first thing they're going to tell you is that it's hard to keep up today. Um, it's not like it was 10 years ago. There are so many different aspects today that you have to do in people order to stay you. relevant. People, people need to hear about from 20 different clients of yours. It's so where can they find a review of you? Different, different world. Absolutely different world. Yes. And that's what is the beauty, again, of the Plum Outreach system. Um, it's putting this in front of them on so many different levels. So you're not just sending a random email blast. It's not, it's not random. This is targeted. So they contacted you for a certain reason, whether it was because they went to a seminar of yours, or that you sent out some direct mail piece that they really liked and they called about it, but then they didn't end up buying from you. Um, or, you know, they just search for you on Google and they end up finding you. They you filled out a contact form and once again they never bought. You know, they, they were intrigued, but they were never sold. Simple as that. But they contacted you for a certain reason, and that's what we focus on. Why did they contact you? And how can we follow up on every single level? So they you know, they came to you and they wanted to find out about life insurance. Um, you know, it's very common common problem for most people in, in America. Um, they want to protect their families, they want to make sure that their families are going to be um, safe if something happens to them. So once they contacted you about it, but you know, they decided whatever, life happens, weren't quite ready, didn't think they wanted to put in the money at this point in their life, but you know they need it. We all know they need it. Or they never even got to that appointment, they changed their mind or something came up, they got busy and they canceled it or they didn't show up. That's someone that usually the, that professional just doesn't follow up on. And it's not their fault. They're busy too. They're thinking, oh, maybe that person wasn't as good of a candidate as I thought they were. So they don't. Or they bought from up. somebody else. Yeah, or, or they assume they might have bought from someone else. If you're following up with them and if you're showing them, hey, I'm not your average salesperson. I'm not someone that is just trying to get your business once. I'm in your community. I'm an educator. I know what's going on in the economy right now. That's someone that that person is going to feel very good about putting their business with them because yep. it's not, and it's after the sale too. We're not just marketing to people to get their initial business because oftentimes whether it's a financial professional or whether it's someone that's a landscaper, you want their business on a continuous basis. You don't want just one sale from them. So to do that, you need to show them that, hey, we're marketing to you all the time. And, and not to interrupt, but this is a problem that we see all the time. I mean, and it's especially in the financial field, it's this, there's this common misconception of, you know, I've sold them and I'm done. You know, this that's it. I, I don't that's need to... That's how you have chargebacks. That's how you have huge problems. Yeah, but it, it goes way beyond that. I mean, when you look at the average financial planner, um, whether they are a stockbroker or selling annuities or life insurance or whatnot, um, they fail to see most of the time that you're not getting all of their business. There's more to be had there. You need to keep that person happy because otherwise, why are, when they need another financial product, where are they going to go? Why would they come back to you? They're going to go to somebody else. And it's, this is just something that we've taken that completely out of the equation. They would never go somewhere else because what we've created is a system that never stops for them. Plum Outreach utilizes every single aspect of marketing. It's just that it incorporates it all into one system. Um, and that is everything from landing pages, it is social media, blasts, social media, your Twitter, your Facebook, your LinkedIn, yep. your Google remarketing. Yep. It's, it's 
the ads, the emails, the newsletters, they're following your potential clients or your clients that you have now, reminding them of you, reminding them of, hey, you know, you came in or you set up an appointment, sorry we missed you for a dentist, um, you know, really would like to get you back in there. Emails that go out for it, reminders, hey, did you know that we sell this financial product? No, you didn't. Why don't you call us up? Yeah. And, the, and the beauty of this is Plum Outreach has been set up so that it's not just the initial process of selling that client, it's a matter of literally one click of uh, a mouse and it switches that person from somebody you're, you're prospecting and trying to turn into a client to somebody that is a client. And just like that, how they're, they're marketed to immediately changes, instantly. I mean, it, it's completely set up. And it's not just, I mean, this is something where You're if marketing you are, with, different, with different ad campaigns. If you have exactly. someone that came to you and it was Sean Smith, and you assume Sean was a man, and you find out she's actually in her voicemail, she's a woman. So you go from marketing with a man's haircut to a woman's haircut, or you're, you, you're changing it up. But like you said, all you have to do is click that button. There is no work involved. Yep. It's amazing. Yep. And it's not just that, I mean, it's, it's also, for our clients that we've dealt with, they don't sell one product, though, and, and not just you know, to a male or a female, but they sell many products. And this has the template to be set up for any type of product, so that automatically, as soon as they clicked one button saying that they were interested in this specific thing, from that point forward, that's how they're going to be targeted, is with that product. If they had signed up and said that they liked something else, that's what they're going to be targeted for. And it's really just 100% customizable. And I mean, it's really why we're so excited about Plum Outreach because nothing else really fully encompasses every single aspect that we've been able to, to match with this. So. What makes Plum Outreach different than what's already being offered in the industry? So much. <laughs> we, I mean, we, we studied everything out there when we came up with this system. Um, and there are some great systems. There are some systems that definitely will work. Mm -hmm. um, but what makes it different is the male aspect. We are first and foremost a male house. So um, statistics for male, 98% of people are reading their mail in the first day. 75% of those people are the decision makers. That's extremely important. You and that's better today. Be, you that's better today. be using that. Everyone has a mailbox. Every single person has a mailbox. There's this huge misconception that direct mail has gone away. The dinosaur and is it's, not. And it's really funny because it doesn't matter. Um, no matter who you talk to, everybody thinks that direct mail has gone away. Even younger people, they have this, they think it has. Even though when you actually see the statistics of what younger people do when they get mail, they are so much more likely to buy something if you actually put it in their hands. Because it doesn't matter what age you are, well in some ways it does I guess, no matter what age you are, because the younger people are even more cheated when it comes to what comes into their email box. And I know it happens to me all the time. It's something more I sign up for a single, for a, a promotion, I want to find out about a company, I get hit by them every two days. And I have, within a week, I stop yeah, completely. Surprised. And it's uh, I, the statistic is staggering. I can't remember exactly what it is of people that have signed up for a newsletter at one point, and then how they quickly they how quickly they get rid of it, um, and because it doesn't doesn't matter. As opposed to when you put somebody in, something in someone's mailbox and they can physically see it, uh, it's a huge huge difference. So. And people, people learn about things, they research things differently. You have to look at yourself and how you learn about companies and how you learn about, you know, you're looking at a gym. Are you the type of person that calls them? Are you the type of person that wants to see it, that you go into the gym and actually look at it? Or are you the type of person that, like myself, I don't want to be bothered. Send me an email, give me your pricing, that's it. Otherwise, I won't give them the time of day. Absolutely. If the gym didn't do that for me, they would have lost my business. So if you are not touching these people in every single way that you possibly can, especially with direct mail, where they can see it, and everything with this is gorgeous, it's perfectly designed, your logo, you look amazing, 
And it's done for a reason because the male is, they're feeling it, they're touching it, they can see it, and they're keeping that male. When we send things out advertising ourselves, it's usually the best way to target our clients is by sending out a postcard and then sending out a packet. They don't throw that packet away. It stays on their desk. It goes into a file. It's the same thing with that postcard you sent out. And you know what a great way to look at it is? Think of yourself as, or, or think about somewhere you bought something from. Uh, I'm talking about a major, major company. Something like, um, you know, a huge clothing brand, like The Gap, or, or something like that. From that point where you, you purchase something from The Gap, what do you get from them in the future? Do you get emails? Absolutely. Are you going to see their advertisements all over the web? Yes, you are. Because you bought something already, they know you're interested, and they're going to keep on going after you. Where else do you get something? You get something in the mail, without fail. The, look at your mailbox. Just go home, open your mailbox, see what's in there on a daily basis. Who is it? 99% of the time, it's the major corporations. The people, they've done the studies, they know what works, and there's a reason why they hit you over and over and over again. And there's a reason they ask for your zip code when you check out. Absolutely. They already have your name, but they need to know where you're located. And then they back search, find your address, and they're marketing to you. Yeah, and then they put in the time and the effort to find that because, because they know it works. Important. And so that's what's really what we've opened the door for is you market like the gap. Exactly. You market like Coca-Cola, even though you're you not. You market like you're a billion dollar company, even though you're a small business. And that and is Plum that's Outreach. That's what we've done. Plum Outreach really encompasses all of those things. But it's not for big dollars. It's for something affordable. So. That's great. So, perfect example, we were researching landscape companies that we wanted to use and completely doing an overhaul of our, our yard and taking out trees and everything. We had about eight different companies come in. Um, obviously the companies that we had come in um, at first were the companies that we found websites for. We then had people that we asked around our neighbors and we got referrals from them. But people that we took out of the equation automatically were the people that you couldn't find anything about them online, scared us. Um, people that they didn't have business cards. You don't know if that person is going to, when you deal with the landscaper, a lot of times it's in cash. Am I going to give someone money up front and they're not going to be there? That's super scary. We're not talking of hundreds of dollars, we're talking thousands of dollars. Um, for some people, if they're doing a, if they're going to a photographer, and you know, maybe sometimes you get your children's portrait. It, maybe it is a hundred dollars. That's a big deal to someone. You want to make sure that they're not just taking that upfront fee and you can't find them. You never, maybe you didn't meet this person in the studio. Just because you don't have an office, if you're a photographer and you don't have an office, that doesn't matter. Have a phenomenal website, have great business cards, make sure you, you know, you're, you're sending out, hey, you loved me postcards, can you go to this link and give us a great review or just tell us, you know, how you feel. Create that presence in your online and in your community that you're someone that's always going to be there and you're someone that they're not going to be afraid to do business with. Mm -hmm. um, because also then you can, if you were worried about, I, we spoke to a photographer the other day, she said, you know what, I can't charge what these other companies charge because I don't have this. Yes, you can. You have all this around you. You can charge that $400 you want to because you have everything else. And she now is getting that price point and so she's working less hard for more money. It's super important. Yeah, trust, it just can't be, can't be overstated. I mean, it's just the world we live in today. It's, it's, it's a completely different scenario. And whether it doesn't matter who you are, if you are a photographer or you own a restaurant, it doesn't matter. We look for a review today on everything. And it doesn't matter, it really doesn't matter who you are. Go, go to Google and type in our name. As soon as you start typing in our name, Plum Direct, I'm pretty positive you'll start seeing Google will fill it in with Plum Direct Marketing Reviews. I mean, it's something like that. That's what always happens because no matter who you're using for business today, whether it is marketing or just somebody you're looking to get some pizza from down the street, people search for it and they want to know what other people have to say about it. And that's huge and that's why we created this system to incorporate everything, including the social media aspects. Because 
you're not going to get a huge percentage of people looking on social media at, at, at who you are and whatnot, but the occasional person is going to say, do they have a presence? You know, are they there? And, and, and the internet is an amazing thing. It has made it so the, the mother who's working from home in Wyoming that could only have a certain amount of people to market to can now market to everyone because she has an online presence. But is she following up with those people? Is she sending thank you cards to them? Is she making sure that those people that just found her online and she did a great job getting them to find her, that they also can trust her? It's and, and a how good much money, and a bad thing. How much money are you spending on your actual marketing for people that have never talked to you before? And how much are you spending on the people that have already bought from you and are more likely to buy from you again? That's what you need to look at. Because that difference, if it's a massive amount of money between the two, you're doing something wrong. Yep, yep. And it's something we can easily fix. It doesn't matter what field you take. If you're a dentist, um, if you're a chiropractor. Um, this if you're is, an HVAC cleaner, if you're, if you're someone that has a pizza shop, it doesn't matter. This is something that would benefit everyone. I mean, when you look at it today, every small business needs a website. But they need to be seen locally. They need to do some form of marketing. I mean, whether it is social media, or it's direct mail, or it's email blasts. I mean, every small business needs to do these things to survive today. It's not something that's going away. If you're not doing it, it means that the guy down the street is doing it instead. There are so many loose ends as a small business owner, and that you have, and you're talking about somebody that most of the time, they run their business themselves. A financial planner frequently does everything. Does the contracting themselves, does the running around. If they have an assistant, that assistant is sometimes busy. You think about someone that runs an HVAC company. A lot of times the person that's running that company is also the one who is out in the field making sure that his employees are actually doing their job. How is that person going to be able to research a web for a website, the content for a website. They don't know what's going to pull. How are they going to research the search engine optimizer? How, wh where is the time? So all of these things get put to the side because they're not as important as making sure their employees show up to work. If the employees aren't there, they're not getting money. So they're leaving money, no matter what business you're in, you're leaving money on the table if you're not using these tools that you must in advertising your company, but they're not always as important to that small business owner because he can't, he or she cannot find the time in the day. Absolutely. When we get 99% of our leads from our websites of people contacting us wanting to find out about our services, it's not during the business hours of the day. It's not from 9 to 5, it's not even from 9 to 7. Most of our leads come in at 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 o'clock at night because we work with small business owners. These aren't people that have time to worry about their marketing during the day. When they really sit down and say, how can I grow my business? It's when they're trying to, they need to go to sleep. They want to go home and they want to watch some TV, but they, can't but they don't sleep. have time. They can't sleep because they're worried about, hey, I used to be five years ago making X amount. The economy's down. Um, my ROI is not what it used to be. I can't sleep. I need to make sure Where's I Where's my next lead going to come from? Correct. Simple as that. And that's really what always reinforces who we work with as a company in my mind. Because every time I see one of those leads, I say, ah, they're doing the same thing that I'm doing right now. Um, you know, I'm not... Not sitting at home, but I'm thinking about where does that next lead come from. And that's really the key to a small business owner. You don't work for a giant company, you work for yourself. And that's why we understand it. And you know, you've all seen us a lot more than you would have six months ago. It's because we ourselves have used this Plum Outreach program on us as a small business, which has catapulted us into not that small of a business anymore. Yeah. But we love working with small businesses and helping them. You know, whether or not they want to just continue to be a small business or take it to the next level, you can take it to the next level when you have marketing pieces that are being sent out on behalf of you, email blasts that are going out constantly that are gorgeous, aesthetically pleasing, and just perfect where you're looking like you're a billion dollar company with Absolutely. a billion dollar marketing budget even though you're not. No one needs to know that. It's true. And once again, I mean, the beauty of this system and what we've created is that it really does go from, I mean, it just covers every aspect. And it's not just the small guy 
whether it's whoever they are, to, to the you know the huge guy that has 15 people underneath them. It's everything in between. It's also for the people that do marketing because everybody has to do marketing in some way, shape, or form. But maybe you don't really want to grow. You don't want to become a huge operation. You're happy with around about what you're making right now. Maybe you need to make a couple extra dollars. But as you know, as a whole, you're not looking to expand your business, but you want to give yourself a different image. That's what this program can do as well. And that's, I mean, that's that's giant. Yep. Or you, you have a client base and you want to properly market to them. You want exactly. to make sure that they know you're still there. So what does this mean for a small business in terms of finding their brand and creating more brand awareness? <laughs> it means what Plum Outreach is. <laughs> I mean, this is, once again, I mean, I can't say this enough. Plum Outreach is every single aspect. I mean, this is for the small business owner that doesn't know who they are as a brand. I mean, a lot of our clients, they are nothing but a name. They are, it's their name. And they don't even realize that's their brand. I mean, you know, you're John Smith, the John Smith Financial, that is your brand. And we can take everything from the logo to, to the feel you want to give for your clients, if you want to be more of a, you know, a, a high-end firm, or if you want to be more of a, you know, you're a local company in Kentucky and you want to be more of the familial feel, we can create that. We create the logos for you. If you don't have a logo you like, we can redo it. We will do anything in this regard to make sure that what you want your image and your brand to be, that it translates into everything that you're doing for your marketing. Brand awareness in, in the community is super important, but we also realize that creating brand, targeting your brand, and making sure that you're marketing to the people that want to actually receive information from you and your target market is what Plum Outreach does. I think something that a lot of people tend to overlook and that some people don't even don't just don't notice, don't even know they have it, um, is that association between brand awareness and trust. And trust. Um, because they don't even know that they what brand awareness is, or that it's a necessary factor in in what they do as a business and who they are. Um, and it's I think what I always find funny is when I'm talking to a prospective client, and you know whenever I talk to anybody, pretty much they call up you know Plum and I answer the phone and whatnot. And I immediately Google them because, I mean, it's just the first thing I do today. And it's always amazing when you see something negative very quickly because they don't have, they have no awareness. So the only people, nobody comes and goes online immediately and says, writes a positive review about, about you as, as, as what you did. It just doesn't normally happen unless they're active in a, maybe a community board about something like that. Maybe then they'll say something. But... You know, they used your services, they loved it. They're, the first thing they're going to do is not normally run online and say, oh, man, I just had a great experience with this person. Um, you know, no, most of the time when you somebody goes online to vent, it's because they're venting. You know, they want to express their frustration because they had a bad experience. And that might not have been your fault. You know, it could have been that it was just a bad circumstance, things didn't work out properly, there was a miscommunication, whatever it may have been. But, you know, I'll talk to a client and I'm looking them up and the only thing I can find is something negative initially. I said, do you know what your what your online presence is right now? I said, no. You, you never Googled your business before? No. I, I, I didn't even know I was on there. <laughs> and, and it's, you know, some people forget that they don't, you know, they think, oh, you know, I don't need to do the, I don't need a website. I don't need this. I don't need that. Well, I'm sorry, but if you don't have those things... Not only are you getting passed up by your competitors, but you're leaving open the possibility that anybody can pass you, whether it's legitimately or not. And that's a huge, huge part of this. And what's fantastic about Plum Outreach is the fact that because so much of this is automated and this is going to go out there, it's going to get ranked by Google. You're, you don't even have to think about it. It's, it just, it's going to be there. Not only that, but we are giving your clients or your prospective clients the idea uh, that, hey, did you know we're on Yelp? And, hey, did and you know you can review us? to create positive reviews for exactly. you. Exactly. And it, it's, it's showing them that this is there. And, you know, I just don't think it can be overstated. Um, it's, it's a huge, huge part of, of this system. Um, and I do find, Peter, that with um, today we, we deal with some companies 
some organizations or some smaller businesses that they either do word of mouth or they think, okay, it's digital. I have to do this website and everything like that. But there's a website. There's a great website, but they're not doing anything to get people to the website. There's a disconnect. And that's a huge problem. We've heard of companies spending hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars on great software, on great websites, on great kind of infrastructure online, Mm -hmm. but there's no way that they actually, if no one listens to your message or sees your message, it doesn't matter what your message is. Mm -hmm. Um, And that's what Plum Outreach does. It drives people again and again so they hear your message and they hear a different message. If that message didn't hit home, if they weren't interested in life insurance to protect their wife, maybe they're interested in life insurance to protect their children. Hit them a different way. You have to be constantly changing your message, tailored around what that person was initially interested in, but going about it from different angles until it hits home from them. Maybe it didn't hit home today, Six months from now, they might be in a different situation. Um, Twelve months from now, they might have been proposed to, and they need that $1,000 bridal package. That's when you need to be hitting them. Absolutely. So in launching this program for us, Plum Outreach Program for Plum Direct Marketing Ourselves, we have taken ourselves from a small business to a medium-sized business. But just because we are that type of business, Peter and I are very accessible. So at any time, if you want to speak to one of us, we get us on the phone. We can help you out. Yep. Call up. Ask for me. I love talking about this program. Um, nothing gets me more excited these days than, than talking about what we can do for a small business and how we can help somebody grow. Uh, it's just, it's really promising. Yeah. And, uh, and if, you're, if you're unsure if this is right for you, the possibilities are endless of what this could do. Um, it's, you know, you can do a la carte where it's, you know, you pick and choose what would be best for you and we'll help you to show you past experiences of what we've done and what it could do for you. Absolutely. Great. Well, thanks for having me. It was great talking about the program and getting a little insight on Plum Outreach. And I think we're all looking forward to the launch. Thank you.